Well, hi guys, I'm Mike. And I'm Tom. And we are Bible Fanatics. All right, guys, we've come a long way to memorizing all the books of the Bible. You bet we have, Tom. We've learned the first five, the 12 books of history, the five books of poetry. How many books is that Mike at all? By my count, Mike, that's 22 books. That's one third of the whole Bible. That is incredible. Wow. Do you think that maybe we can recite all of them? Well, let's give it a try. Let's do it. In the beginning, and Genesis means beginning, Genesis, then Exodus, <clears throat> Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, picking out wheat, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, waving goodbye to the Babylonians, Ezra, Nehemiah, <clears throat> then Queen Esther, girl power, then Job, Psalms, Proverbs, listen carefully, young man, and you will become wise. Ecclesiastes, nothing matters except for loving God. And then the book of Solomon, Song of Solomon, which stands for love and marriage. Good job, guys. You nailed it. Oh, woo, man, that's awesome. Well, guess what? We're going to add five more books today. That's, hey, we're going to add the books of the major prophets. Awesome. Now, prophets were the mouthpiece of God. They were the ones that took God's message and gave it to the people. Some were good, some were bad, and some even told about God's promise to fulfill his promise in saving the world from sin. Ooh. Now, Isaiah, okay, that's the first one. Isaiah was the first, first of these prophets, and he delivered messages to God's people in time of bad kings. Right. Wanting them to turn back to God. So to remember Isaiah, let's draw a lowercase i with our finger, then dot it with the eye. Don't forget the eye. Right. And Jeremiah was another prophet of God, and uh, he spoke to the people about God. But you know what? Oftentimes, Jeremiah is referred to as the weeping prophet because he was so sad that no one would listen and obey God. So let's take our left hand and wipe away our tear because Jeremiah was the weeping prophet. Well, boys and girls, let's go ahead and put your other hand up there and let's cry with both eyes to remember the next book, Lamentations. Now, this book was also written by Jeremiah. So we can cry with both eyes and remember its author, the weeping prophet. Right. The next book was Ezekiel, and Ezekiel delivered his people to God after they had been captured by the Babylonians and were in exile. So, let's take our finger and make a Z in the air to remember... <coughs> Zorro! Yeah, no. Zorro! No, Ezekiel. Let's remember Ezekiel. Oh, okay. Well, <coughs> now that brings us to the fourth major prophet Daniel. Daniel, he was a young man who was taken to live in the palace of the king of Babylon. He got to know the king personally, and he and his friends, oh, they had some daring adventures. Right. Daniel's three friends were thrown into the fiery furnace, but they didn't burn. And then Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, and he didn't even get eaten. Woo! You know what? God saved Daniel by shutting the lion's mouth. So cover your mouth to remember Daniel. Right. Okay, guys, let's remember the five major prophets. First was Isaiah. Don't forget to dot your I in Isaiah. Then Jeremiah was a weeping prophet who wrote Jeremiah and Lamentations. And then Ezekiel, we remember by making a Z to remember <clears throat> Ezekiel. Not, not Zara. Right, Ezekiel. And then lastly, Daniel. You can cover your mouth or remember to shut the mouths of the lions. Man, way to go, guys. <laughs> that is 27 books. Wow. wow. Good job, guys. We'll see you next week.